Hey, in this video, we will learn how you can use Supabase MCP server directly within Cursor to interact with your database. There is an MCP server recommended by Supabase, which is the one created by Anthropic itself, and it is called as Server Postgres. But it only reads the data from your database. If you want to make some changes, if you want to edit the database, then you can't do it with the Solver Postgres MCP. So we will use something else, something more powerful that will allow you to not only read the data, but also make changes. You can edit the data in your Superbase database. This MCP server is called as Superbase MCP server. And in this video, we will learn how you can install this Superbase MCP server and interact with your a Superbase database directly from the cursor agent so that you don't have to go to the Superbase database in order to make changes to your database. You can do it all using the cursor agent or any other tools like Cloud Desktop app or Winsoft or any other thing. So we'll be setting this up for cursor on macOS. The process will be almost same for Windows as well. There will uh, certainly be some configuration differences, but overall the process is same. You can watch the video till the end to learn how you can do it. So. First thing that you need to do is install Superbase MCP server. You need to have Python installed or if you have UV installed, you can use this command. I'll provide the link in the description for this Superbase MCP server that allows Cursor and WinServe to use any method management API and query your database. So it will not only let you read your database, but also make changes to your database. This is really powerful. So first thing that you need to do is install the Superbase MCV server. So I'll just use the Python command, go to terminal and install it because I already have installed it. It is saying Superbase MCP server already seems to be installed. If you are installing it for the first time, then it will so successfully installed. Now you'll need to configure the Superbase MCP server and for that you will need all of these data like Superbase project reference ID, Superbase database password, Superbase region, Superbase access token and Superbase service role key. And you'll need to keep all of this data in dot .environment file. You can see over here. Okay. Let's go over here and you have the configurations method. You'll need to go to this configuration folder and create a Superbase MCP folder and inside that you'll need to create a dot .environment file and you'll need to add all of this data. Similarly, if you are on Windows, you'll need to go to this folder app data and create a Superbase MCP folder and inside that you'll need to create a dot .environment file or you can just use this command mkdirect force and this one. Copy this, add it to the terminal and it will automatically create the folder. Hey, if you are into vibeboarding, you can check out the voice to text application called as Voice Inc. It's a one time payment for $19 and is available for all macOS devices. While Whisperflow and Super Whisper are charging $8 to $15 per month, Voice Inc. is a one time payment of $19. Because I'm on macOS, I'll just copy this macOS configuration directory. So I'll go to terminal, paste it here, and I will have a new Superbase MCV folder inside the .config folder. So I'll need to go to Finder now go to your user and then you need to enable hidden files on mac os you just need to press command shift and dot and you will be able to see all of your hidden files so you need to find config folder now you can see here the config folder is here then you have the supervised mcp folder over here you will need to add a dot environment file so i'll just use sublime text editor to create a new file and now we will need to add all of these configuration values to that file. And we'll save this file as dot environment file inside the Superbase MCP folder. Save it as dot env. Click on save, use dot. And now we have saved it. If you go to the finder, you will see we have the dot environment file. Now we'll need to add all of these keys over here. We'll need to add the project reference ID, database password, Superbase region, Superbase access token, Superbase service role key, and then only this will start to work. Now I just put these windows side by side so that you can see. Okay, now let's first start with the project reference ID. So I'll go to Superbase over here, go to my dashboard, and for now I'll just choose this voicing emails uh, database. And when you open this database, you will find the URL over here. And this is the project reference ID. You see over here, this is the project reference ID. So I'll just copy this and open Sublime. 
and you'll need to copy this and replace this text and replace this placeholder text your project reference id you can save and delete this one now we'll need to use the superbase database password you will find this inside the project setting if you do not remember the password you can just go to settings go to database and you have the option to reset a database i'll just write some random password over here random p s w o r d one two three four okay i'll just copy this and reset the password okay it's actually saying to make a stronger password i'll copy it again click on reset password and use this password that you just created add it to the superbase database password field now you will need to choose the superbase region you can find the superbase region by going to your organization and you is, you can see my location or region for voicing emails database is us west 1 so i'll need to make that change as well currently it has us east 1 so i'll change it to us west 1 now you'll need to add superbase access token go to your dashboard and over here you'll see access token and you'll need to generate a new token you can write mcp server or anything here and you'll need to copy that token go again to the text field and replace the placeholder with the actual access token now you'll need to add the superbase service role key you will find it inside your database i'll go over here and if you go to project setting go to api and here you will have service roles you'll need to click on reveal copy and add it here now the first part is done now we need to install this mcp server on our cursor application so i'll close all of this i'll go to cursor click on add mcp server and you can see here what we need to do we need to name it as superbase or you can name it anything then the type will be command and the command will be superbase mcp server so i'll just add it in our cursor application superbase mcp i'll name it type will be command and the command will be superbase mcp server clicking on add and you can see here it is saying no tools available right now let us wait for it to turn green and you can see here i just refreshed it and we have all of these tools like get schema get tables execute retrieve migration send a management api request get auth live dangerously confirm destructive operations etc so i'll just show you some examples i'll just ask it to read some data hey i want you to read the database in our voicing emails database so the app i'm using right now is called as voicing it is a voice to text application for mac os you can check it out from the link in the description so i have asked it to read the database in our voicing emails database okay i should have said read the table and now it will call the mcp tool it has no parameters but we'll just run it and you can see here it is returning some results now cursor has a direct access to our superbase database this makes it so much easier to work with your database you don't need to go to superbase to make some changes you if you need to provide some context to cursor you don't need to go there and copy some of the data and paste it here or if you want to make some changes you can do it directly by telling the cursor agent to do so and it will be much easier to work uh, with your database so it is uh, getting us here like uh, it has got one table called as emails you can see it is reading all of the data now i'll just ask it to create a simple html table to uh, list all of the data hey i want you to create a table view of all the data that you have got from our superbase emails table and uh, do not add emails accept emails add everything in the table and make the table look more better with better css so let's see what we get if we get the data right or not and you can see here it is again calling the mcp tool we just need to run it it is getting the data from our tables and we have the result here you can see here it got the data from our superbase database and we have all the data we do not have the uh, actual emails because we said in the beginning uh, we don't want to show the emails just uh, all the data the data like created date source uh, referrer and browser 
So this MCP server is really powerful. You can not just only read the data, you can also write the data directly using the cursor agent without having to go to the supervised database and uh, adding SQL query execution. It can be directly done with uh, the MCP server itself. So this is all for the video. I hope you found it useful. If you found it useful, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel because I'll be coming with some more cool AI related videos in the future.